This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 503, Being Happy Equals Being Happy, by Jay Money of BudgetsAreSexy.com, and I'm Justin Mollick, your very own personal narrator for blog posts and sometimes book excerpts that I think will help you optimize your life. But it's a special week here. Some of the authors that I regularly read from right here on this show have decided to participate for the big 500th episode. So all this week, they're giving me a break from narrating and doing it themselves, It's been awesome so far, and today's no different. It features the J Money of BudgetsAreSexy.com and Rockstar Finance. I'll tell you what that is in a second. First, I do have a sponsor to mention, speaking of finance, and that is FreshBooks. FreshBooks is a cloud accounting software that you can use to track your expenses, send invoices, track time, and more. And you try out all of their features for free for a month. Definitely worth it. Come by FreshBooks.com slash living to check it out. So back to Jay Money from Budgets Are Sexy. He's read very frequently on our other podcast, Optimal Finance Daily. And something we don't mention enough is his other site, Rockstar Finance. It's like the best of personal finance, basically what we do on our podcast, curating the content for you, but in web and email form. If you join his email list there, you can get the best delivered to you. If you like this show, you'll love that. So check that out at rockstarfinance.com. And he recorded a short little intro to go along with his post, so let's jump right into that as we optimize your life. Hey guys, Jay Money here from BudgetsAreSexy.com and RockstarFinance.com. Justin asked if I wanted to read one of my uh, blog posts to you all today, which is very strange as I've never done that before. Um, Yes, okay, so um, I picked one of my favorite blog posts and mentalities. It's called being happy equals being happy. Yesterday, I found my biggest score yet on a single walk. 16 whole cents, six pennies and one dime, just littered on the ground as if money fell from trees. Maybe they did fall from a tree. Smiley face. (laughs) How do you do smiley faces? Um, Anyways, I was so excited that I not only rushed home to exclaim my exuberance to the wife, She didn't care, but to also hit up Instagram and Twitter too, of course, to share my findings with the world. People there cared a little more, but I tell you all this because it made me just as happy as if I had found a $100 or even $1,000 bill instead, which also would have been pretty exciting, but not exponentially more. Knowing this about yourself can play a huge part in your finances. Whenever we consider buying stuff, we're usually fixated on the price. But what we're really after is how much joy this new thing will bring us, bills and such excluded. We're pretty good at knowing what these are, but we're not so good at paying attention to the alternatives that can also bring as much joy into our lives. For example, I'm just as happy drinking beer at home as I am at the bar, which is true. I'm just as happy hanging with friends as I am going to the movies. I'm just as happy driving my beat-up Cadillac as I was with my $25,000 SUV. I'm just as happy wearing gently used clothes as I am new clothes. I'm just as happy eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches as I am hitting a new restaurant. I'm just as happy getting my hair cut at home as I am at the barbershop. I'm just as happy watching a show on my medium-sized TV versus my old big screen TV. And even more shocking, I'm pretty much just as happy having a staycation as I am a vacation. Does that mean I still don't eat out or buy new clothes or drink tasty beers for 10 times the price? No, I love doing those things too. However, when comparing the happiness levels only, they're not that far apart, if at all. So I do more of the free cheap stuff and continue having a sweet quality of life. Just something to think about while out there and about this week doing your thing. No shame in enjoying the niceties out there, but remember there's plenty of alternatives that do the same trick at a fraction of the cost. We're lucky to have such options. Oh, let me say that again. We're lucky to have such options! Big exclamation point! Um, Oh, and we have a PS here, and then a um, little bullet point after. PS, here's another post I wrote last year along the same lines if you want to keep the juices flowing. Although, this is being read out loud, so... Doesn't really help here. Um, here's a little exclamation or the little uh, asterisk. A thousand dollar bills actually exist. And in fact, a hundred thousand ones do too, though they are extremely rare. 
Most of the larger denomination U.S. bills were used by banks and the federal government for large transactions between themselves and not the general public, though the general public now owns a lot of these bigger bills as collectible items, and they cost a lot more than face value too. So there you go. That's my first time ever reading anything out loud. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for listening uh, to all the times Justin has read my own um, articles out loud. Um, and yeah, keep paying attention to that money and, and go after the dreams. You just listened to the post titled Being Happy Equals Being Happy by Jay Money of BudgetsAreSexy.com and RockstarFinance.com. Don't forget to join his mailing list there. And speaking of finance, FreshBooks, big thanks to them for being instrumental in keeping the show going. I use FreshBooks. It's a really smart way to send invoices. It takes like a whole 30 seconds compared to much longer for any other system I've seen. I love to use it. And something I mention frequently, which I'm sure Jay Money would agree with, is how valuable it is to track your expenses. Even if it's a challenge for just one month, try it. And I guarantee you it'll be enlightening in some way. FreshBooks has a super easy way to do this, both online and with their app. They connect to each other, so you can use one or the other, or both. You can even use the app to take pictures of your receipts to help you organize them. Again, the best solution I've ever seen, including my own solution that I've offered for free to you guys. You don't need a tutorial or anything to learn how it works. It's very intuitive. You can try all of their features out for free for a month without entering any payment or credit card info. Just come by freshbooks.com living. And when they ask you, how did you hear about us? Enter in Optimal Living Daily. Again, that's freshbooks.com slash living. I want to thank Jay Money for doing the recording, as strange as it was for him. It was a pleasure to listen to, and you can tell he's a happy man. I can hear his smile through the airways. I'm sure you could too. Thank you, Jay, for participating. And thank you, the listener, for being here every day and optimizing your life with us. It means a lot. We'll be continuing with guest narrators tomorrow and even through this weekend, which is amazing. I'll give you a hint. Tomorrow features a Netflix star, which is exciting. So stay tuned for that, where your optimal life awaits. Hey, this is Dan from the Optimal Finance Daily Podcast, which is a lot like this show, except more focused on personal finance. Justin handpicks the best posts he can find from blogs and authors like Ramit Sethi, Mr. Money Mustache, and more, and I read them to you five days a week. So if you enjoy this podcast, come on over and subscribe to Optimal Finance Daily too. And together, we'll optimize your financial life. You've been listening to Optimal Living Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us. And remember, your optimal life awaits.